He looked at his glory. I worship you. You follow me? But he forgot where he got it from. You see? And that's what we don't never want to forget. Where we got. That's right. What we had, where we got it from. And I don't mean the H.C. Kelly, and I don't mean from Glenn I'm talking about from Yahweh himself. So, now, I've had a lot of problems just like anybody else. See, that my natural father happened to be the one that Yahweh chose. Right? Yes, sir. See, you wouldn't have a problem with it. See? You saw him? But now, if it was your father, you might have a problem with it. And I wouldn't have none. All right. You see? Okay, yes, sir. See, so anything that close to home, you see, it's like, can a, can a man have any honor in his own country or in his own family? But we found out that and what I meant is my sister Rachel yes. and my older sister Lena yes. has passed away. They used went to school and they used to come home and try to stump <laughs> our father yeah. with words. You know? And one time they came home to that Papa, we know a word you don't know. <laughs> Am I right? It says they threw the little huh? I remember the word. Right. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> and he was sitting in there, if I remember, he was sitting in the chair in the living room. When Lena and Rachel came home and said, we know a word you don't know. And he looked up and said, what is it? And they threw their little head back and said, kill no progenitor. So he looked at it, he looked at him and said, what does your mother have for you? And they said, oh, she knows that too. Yeah. <laughs> some of the things that we all tested him with yes, through the father to us and a lot of things like in every other family. That's we don't right. have no unique family. That's right. All right. Nothing unique about the kingdom. Yeah. I never tried to impress you. But I'm saying you, we can relate yeah. you see, the family lives and how we, yeah. our, we were brought up and find out we have a common bond That's right. you see, in the ways that we were brought up. Now, so I'm getting back now to as I said, I promised you I would go into this, this great work. Mm -hmm. And I tried to explain the errors that was made by saying that we were born DOA, yeah. devils, yeah. with our money, not in this present age. Right. 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 Um, that's not true. That's right. See, you make void what he's done. Right. Right. You know? right. Now, the gospel is, and, I, and this I remember also that the resurrection is still going on. Right. This ain't not about the death still going on. But the resurrection is still going on. And what? The opinions is cause is still going on. Yes, sir. You saw me? Yeah. And the universal revelation is still going on. Right. You saw me? Yeah. That's, that's what's in this present kingdom age. Right. <laughs> Romans 14, 7. The, uh, the kingdom of Yahweh is not meat. Right. Drinks. Divers. Wars. But righteousness, peace, and joy. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. Now all you gotta do is get your eyes open to what it is, and you won't have all the problems. You follow me? You don't you won't stay in a mundane state. Yeah. You follow me? Where everything around you is is um, chaotic. Right. You follow me? Yeah. You look to find the good in all things. That's right. Now, so Yahweh having purpose a purpose within himself. <coughs> That's before anything was. Going back, before anything was. Yes. He declared the end from the beginning, and then he executed mm. his purpose by taking on an incorporeal, super incorporeal anthropomorphic state of being. Right? right? And it was by this as it is called a son. You see, but John 1 1 says it, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with Yahweh, and that's who the Word was. Right. You follow me? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Now, I tried to explain I'm a son. I'm an uncle. I'm even a great uncle. I'm a grandfather. Yes, sir. You follow me? If you don't love me, I may be your enemy. You follow me? So I can be all those things. You see? But me, I haven't changed. You follow me? So it's according to how you look at me. You know, is how 
you uh, may discern who I really am. And let me say this right here. You're not going to find out who you are or who I am, rather, till you find out who you are. Right. And that's what I'm trying to do. Tell you who you are. I already know who I am. All right. All right. I'm not guessing about it. And while I'm there, I didn't come to Springfield for nobody to teach me nothing. Right. I didn't say I wouldn't hear you, I wouldn't listen to you teach and rejoice, but I didn't come here to learn nothing. Somebody say, see, that's what I don't like about it. That's your problem. You follow? What I'm trying to tell you is Yahweh has already showed me. Yeah. You follow me? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. I am complete. Yeah. You follow me? That's what I'm saying. That's what it takes to be a, a qualified teacher. Uh, all that Yahweh is saying, he qualified. That's right. That's right. How can you hear without a preacher? Well, how can he preach unless Yahweh is qualified? That's right. I didn't say remember some chapters and verses you know, and a right. sermon here or two there. I mean, I'm, you know, this school that I have taught, they have come to me with questions that nobody else could answer. That's right. right. Nobody. Then I have stood up on the floor and answered their question before they could ask. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's That's right. right. Who do you think that is? If you think it's Glenn, you got it wrong. That's, That's right. right. Glenn is not that smart and neither are you that smart. Right. Right. But we do have these treasures in earth and vessels. Right. You got it? Yes, now watch. <clears throat> Yahweh took on this shape and form and by it. You see? And I'm going over it again because that's what I can't do. I'm restoring the vision that was given to the mountain, the vision that was given to Moses, the vision that the revelation was given to John. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And there's nothing beyond that. That's right. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. Now what, if there should be such a thing as beyond what I just said, you know what it's going to take? Answer me. No. Yes, it's going to take the conclusion of this All right. to begin the next. All right. And you have, you have not yet decided what it's going to be. That's right. So we just take what we got. All right. All right. I'll say this to you. They once I asked the founder, said, do we know what's going to be in the ages yet to come? He said, no, we haven't decided that yet. All mm. right. Yes, sir. You see? That's some way out stuff. Yeah. And then he went on to say, you are going to make up next week's history. That's yes. Right. Or the next cycle right. of history. See, these things a lot of people haven't heard. And then, of course, naturally, they think I'm nuts for saying You follow me? But if you understood what you're learning down here in this world, come back from this world. Right. You follow me? And what they learned in this world came from this one. Okay. You follow me? Right. So in worlds or areas or series yet to come, come from the next, the previous one. All right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, so in creating, he desired to share himself. And let me say it this way. A king with a kingdom is no good without subjects in it. Yeah. That's right. You follow me? Why be a king over something that ain't nothing in it to be king over? Right. And when I say king over, I don't mean like, hey, you do this. Don't do that. Hey, do what? Stop that. You're not off of that. I don't mean that kind of king. I mean a king that reigns over his people, you understand, yes. with peace in them, and they understand what is in the, in the king is now in them. Yes. That's the kind. Of, that's the kind of king I'm talking about. Yes. All right. I'm not some, talking about somebody running around. Hey, what you turn your feet around and play? Yeah. Yeah, nothing like that. That's not the kind of king I'm talking about. So when we even talk about kings, we got to know what a true king is. That's right. Now, so a kingdom is no good without a king in it. And so uh, uh, I'm repeating now, a kingdom is no good without subjects in it. Now we're subject to the king. Yes. And once we become as a king, then we become king while he remains king of kings. Yes. You follow that? Yes. Yes. That make plain? Yes. So now watch. In short, this is the king of the king. All right. Good. Do it, All right. Good. You follow? Yes. yes. But both of them are king. That's yes. right. You follow? All right. They said, well, I never heard that. Well, help yourself. I can't do that. <laughs> but anyhow, what what we 
we haven't understood, uh, um, commonly understood within the schools, is how Yahweh created the heaven and earth. Though it's right up here and right there, yeah. it's there that He transformed into every day of the creation. That's right. You follow? Yes. Yes. He is the light. I'm yes. repeating. He's the darkness. He's the twilight in the midst. Yes. He's, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, here, Lord, why? If he's creating by the pattern of himself, yes. if he's doing that and has nothing else to create by, right. yes. then when he makes the man, guess what? Yes. That's who he is. Yes. You follow? Yes. Now, somebody said, well, now, there's no animals here. Come on, baby. Right? Yes, sir. yes, it is. That's right. What does an elephant have? Yeah. You see? Yes, sir. You just saw those attributes manifest in the field. You understand? Yes. As beasts. Yes. You saw them? Yes. Right. He brought them into being. They didn't help him do nothing. That's right. right. You see, now they, I'm, I'm, I came in and straightened it out. And so, somebody said, the elephants help build uh, the ark. Yes, the elephants help Noah build an ark. Wrong. So why'd you get like that? Elohim. Elephant. <laughs> what about the eel? What about the elk? <laughs> You know what I'm Stop that stuff. Yeah. You know, here's what you're going to have to change. Messiah himself stuck to it. To the law and to the prophets. Yeah. If they speak not according to this, ain't no light in them. Right. So in the prophet, I with my own arm brought down salvation. Yeah. And there was none to help you. You're going to have to add none but the elders. Right. Hmm. Right. 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 You understand? Yeah. You can't do that. But see, the animals here, I mean, they should wonder. You should wonder, why are they there? Yes. And you don't see them over here. All right. Excellent. But they're there. They're typified in attributes. And that all those attributes typified what was in them. Yes. Yes. All right. yes, you understand me now? Yes. yes. We want to understand what Yahweh is doing to help what me and you as men think. So, well, let me finish. So he's transforming into each day of the creation. You follow? Yes, sir. Yes. You listening now? Yes. When he gets down to Adam, he gets transformed into the man Adam and begin to birth. Mm -hmm. Is it? And this is what the Doc Kinley taught from 32 to 57 to day. That Adam was Yahweh himself. In the garden. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> we've done this. Adam out of Yahweh, you get Adam. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. Out of way, you get Eve. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's no transgression in it. All right. All right. Then. You see? What you call a transgression is an execution of the purpose. Okay. That's what you call. All right. All right. And I'll, I'll, let me say it another way. Maybe if you don't put that, that's a little deep. Let me say it another way. Before Adam, for, before Eve partook of the thought concerning the tree, the sacrifice was already there. That's right. Yeah. So her redemption was already there. Right. Yeah. Right. You saw me? Yeah. Now where is yours at? Oh, fuck. Seeing then there's no more sacrifices to come. That's right. Where is yours at? Right. You're, right. Right. You're the sacrifice, man. Right. That's right. You understand? So get yeah. off of Eve. Yeah. Get off of that. Yes. Recognize them as the parental substance yeah. by which the whole human family came. That's right. You saw me? You yes, understand? Sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is another thing that is often thought, that Yahweh created a devil. He did not. All right. Thank you. So now, I got lectures, but I got things. I don't care what you got. Right. You see? 
Yahweh has no way of creating the devil. Teach that. You see? That's right. That's a realm he does not exist in. Yeah. But what the devil did was took the rights that Yahweh gave him and perverted it. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. Right. Suppose we get loose, uh, Isaiah 14.7, isn't it? 14.12. 14.12. This ought to answer some questions. Then I'm going to move along. Yes, sir. Red, yes, yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah 14.12. How art thou fallen? How did you fall? Come on. Yahweh made you an angel over all the others. How did you fall? Yeah. Because I made this fall. You can't read that. How did you fall? What? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Son of the morning? How did you fall? Son of the morning. O Lucifer, son of the morning. Read. Mm. How art thou cut down? How art thou cut down? Yeah. Right. Read. Which did is weaken the nation. Which weaken the nation. Now look, you got some problems here. Somebody said, what problem we got? You see, Isaiah talking about the weaken the nation. He was cast out of heaven before the nations come forth. Come on, man. Right. He was cast out before the nations came out of Adam and Eve. Yeah. Right. right. So that ain't the first time he showed up. Yeah. Read. For thou hast said in thine heart. Now this is how you fell. This is how Lucifer fell. It wasn't that Yahweh called him. Though. This is how he fell, Randy. Because you said. Yes. Read. I will ascend into heaven. Is it not? He's already in heaven. Yes. It's like we talk about going out in outer space. That's where planet Earth is. In outer space. Right. How you going to get go to where you're already at? And there's some people in the school that believe that they went to the moon. I'll be damned if they did. That's right. Right there? Right. They ain't go. And they ain't gonna go. Yes, sir. Speak it. You follow me? And you look up and see a rocket circling the earth, and if you can still see it, it's still in the earth's atmosphere. Right. <laughs> You know, you get in a plane, airplane, y'all rode an airplane, and I said, we're flying 10,000 feet above uh, the, the, the earth. Yeah? You know what he just said? There's a couple of miles up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they give it to you in footage, not miles. Yeah. That's 5,280 feet to the mile, That's right? That's right, right. That's right. So they say 10,000, you just a couple of miles up, and look down, you can't see all of them, speck. You know? <laughs> And if the moon was lit up, it's a light. Yahweh called it to be a light. How you gonna bounce around on it and get dust? Right. We don't stop and think. Scientists say, that's it. Men, don't tell me we didn't go to the moon. I saw what men walk the contracts on land. Did you believe Star Trek? You believe Battlestar Galactica? Did you believe Robot Man? Um, this is entertainment, man. Um, and they uh, start, uh, we got a fellow that wrote a song that lives in California. He worked at the movie studio where they got this little plane, model plane on a string with a blue background and this it's, it's slide suit and they, they do it in slow motion and they speed it up like warp seven. <laughs> they added all that stuff together. Wow, you know what I mean? Right there in the studio, ain't even been out nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want nobody to come in from now, though, because the red light's on. Don't mess up the camera. That's right. Huh? That's right. Am I right there? Right. right. See? So, listen, those things are done for entertainment. Those folks aren't trying to deceive you, they're trying to entertain you. All right. Yeah. All right. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. Now look, folks, the Ark of the Covenant 
is the throne of Yahweh. We have read last night, I think it was, at Springfield Branch School, Leviticus 16 too. Right? Where Yahweh said, I will dwell between the wings of the cherub, above the mercy in the cloud. You follow me? And the cloud extended, where it hovered over the top of the most holy place. Right. And there ain't nothing above that. All right. Now when you get to exalt above the ark of God, that's the that's the that's the last vessel in there. And as Dr. Gill said last night, there weren't no back doors in it. Right. And there wasn't. Right. So where are you gonna go? So in exalting yourself, it was a fault. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we didn't create anything. That's right. And then you got over there something like that. I, I quote it. I said, I, Yahweh, create good and evil. You know what I'm saying? You can't, besides uh, correcting some of that stuff, yeah. we were born and said, can a tree bring forth good fruit and bad fruit? Right. No, sir. No, sir. All right. You go get a tree with good oranges on it. You saw them? All of them on that sweet. Go ahead. You see, you want a lemon? Go to the lemon tree. You understand? Yeah. So you being a tree or a branch of Yahweh, can you bring forth good fruit and bad fruit? No. no. It doesn't work that way. Let's get some things straight. We come here, and the first aim of school is to help you find and know Yahweh, right? Yes, sir. That, uh, as it indicates, whoever's teaching has already found. That's right. If you haven't found, you sure can't help nobody else find. See? And everything I say, there's an argument about. 1930 was when the vision was given, June 6, 9. Everybody wants to fuss with me about it. And nobody but me was there that's living. Me and my sister Rachel. And we didn't see nothing. <laughs> they got 1895 on his gravestone. He wasn't born in 1895. Born in 1896. Yes, sir. Well, with this, we all get together uh -huh. and tell the same damn lie every time we open up a glass. That's damnable. All right, then. Right. And don't you think they don't know it here in Springfield that the visa was given June 6th in the year 1930. Don't you think they don't know it in Florida? All right. All right. All right. Right? Yes. Sir. They got up and said it down there. Yes, sir. In Florida. That they knew one. And the founder himself told them. Right. Yes. That's what it was. Yes. Now, what is your proof? Hmm. You understand? Yes. If Adam died at 930, not 931. Right. And he said, right where I, Yahweh exhaled in Adam, it's right where he took up residence in him. Yes. 930 years deep into the sixth day, that's how we're declaring the end of the beginning right. and the author and the finisher of our faith. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't nothing else after that. Yeah. Well, you get mad at me and dis you know, disown me, you know what I'm but I'm still your brother. That's right. That's right. If I'm all that wrong, you come and help me as I've tried to come and help you time after time. Yeah. I haven't turned my back on nobody. That's right. No, and I'm not mad either. No. But I don't know what my father had and what he done. And for, for 26 years, that's all he ever thought. Yes, sir. Then sometimes, the book said, in the vision of Revelation I had in 1932. Now what's he talking about? He's talking about when he opened the school. Go ahead. That's what he's talking about. 1896. Work it there. Right. Right. One more time. There we go. The whole world was bound down. Yes. Right. As far as we knew, yes. there wasn't no vision. Yes. There was no revelation. Yes. There was no true doctrine yes. that we knew of that was in the world. Yes. We were bound down. Yes. We were. Three times six is eighteen. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. In ninety-six, John was on out of that. Come on. Right? Yes. So he come in at the end of the age, 1896. Mm. Working there. That gets, and he took us out of that and brought us on under the revelation that was given to John on the Isle of Pat. That's right. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, if the thinking was in the man, yes. the 930 was in the man. Yes. 
in the man. Yeah. Right. He was born the ninth month and the third day. Yeah. Right. yeah. And the baby of the family, Jack, that just passed away, was born in the same month, 20 days, the 20th of September. Yes, sir. Born in the same month as father. Mm. All right. No, I ain't preaching. Family, I'm preaching the vision. Revelation. And every one of them, when you begin to understand your birth, that's right. fits that pattern. Yes, it yeah. does. Yes, it does. That's just a focal point to open up yours. That's right. It's not for you to praise the founder. Or any man. That's right. You follow me? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about divine numerology and how it reflects. You follow me? And every, listen, the scriptures testified of Messiah. Yes. Right? Yes. And they still testify of the true Messiah. Yes. If you cannot expound those scriptures and show how he fulfilled them by the Holy Spirit in you, you still don't know what you're talking about. That's right. right. Yes. You just don't know, you don't know. Right. That's it. You follow me? Right. I'm not talking, I'm not teaching you this from tutorship only. <laughs> yes, I was tutored. No, by my father and Frank's father. But I'll tell you one thing that Dr. Collett Rose said. He said, uh, Glenn took the key his father gave him and unlocked the mystery. All right. All right. All right. And Messiah had said, Behold, I give you the keys to the kingdom. What are the keys? The law and the prophet interpreted by the Holy Spirit. That's what right. right. That is the keys to the kingdom. Am I right, Nathan? Yeah. Right. And that's what we want to establish. You see, we don't want to hear another doctrine. Right. Dr. Lord said, we don't want to hear what you have to say about it. Right. And Yahweh did not leave us in the wilderness for somebody else to take us across. That's right. No. All right. No. We're already across. All right. 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 He didn't forsake us at no time. That's right. No. You know? Though we forsook him, he never forsook us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Gone? Yes. And gone off and left you. That's right. So you understand now? Mm -hmm. So then in that body, you understand? <laughs> is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's created by the pattern of himself. That's right. You follow? You understand? Yes. So he creates a heaven. Now here's where it looks. See? There's a twofold meaning in the way it looks. Right. See, the Adam, Adam came forth on the sixth day to show that flesh. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So that flesh couldn't take no credit by having created nothing. Right. right. That's the body, it's that right there. Because yes, you, you didn't see nothing to the sixth day, anything that looked like this. Right. That's right. You see? But you've got, you got to come to understand Oh, well, let me say, then Moses, having seen the vision, and having seen him transforming the threefold of Daniel's tabernacle, Word. never chronological day, but day secret, as he's looking at it by way of vision, yeah. he don't see nothing. Oh. And, and along here, it looks like that. Mm. Right. You follow me? Right. Till he gets right. down to the sixth day. <laughs> and then he's able to confess that. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Work it. Wait a minute, man is made in the image of light. You see, now you got something to compare to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. But, but he recognized, listen, let me tell you something. He recognized that this was this. All right. right. I'm telling you what Moses saw. He saw Adam, you follow me? Or Elohim put on a coat of flesh as he was saying, let us create a man. Right. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Drop a foot. That's all right. Here. Said, let us. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't through with it. Let us. Yes, sir. <laughs> I said, he said, let us. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who's the us? The Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit. See, we don't get this us straight in the Genesis when he gets down to John the Baptist bad of baptism when he said, but does it be who's us, John? Right. You talking about me and you, John? No, us. Right. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Right. right. Excellent. Right. So, right. Let us make the man. Right. You see? Right. Not like this in me. Let us. Thank you. You see? Thank you. Fulfill. Yes. And suffer to be so now. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. As many of us, as he's translated in the kingdom, you know there's the us again, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And they keep on with the us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come, understand. understand the spiritual aspect of what you, you're looking for, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? Yeah. That's what you want to know. If, if that's what you want to know, you're in the right place. If you don't want to know, you're in the wrong place. That's right. Now, so then, inasmuch that it took him coming down from that pure state or abstract state, yeah. that's a Passover. That's right. Yes. That's right. a crucifixion. That's a coming down. That's right. Yes. See, you're frowning if I say that's a transgression. Mm -hmm. You see? You follow? Mm -hmm. You see, that's, but if, if, you, if you look at it like that he's not involved in the kind of transgression you're talking about, no more so than uh, 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 false intimidity was. You follow mm -hmm. Right. Then you right. begin to understand the true meaning of him coming down. Yeah. Right. So, so he came down from that state into that. You now, in the purpose, you listening now? Yeah. In the purpose, he declared a way to communicate with the man that was going to be born. Hallelujah. That's right. Born a woman. You know and this is what he declared to show himself. All right. All right. That's what might say. Seen and only. Don't you see? He's already prepared a way for you to meet him. Yeah. yeah. All right. And just in case you missed it, in this form, he put on a cold face and walked out of us. Yeah. 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 Make me a tabernacle that Moses might live in. Oh. Oh. And while I'm there, those that I've taught, they already know it. Yahshua, the, the body, the physical body, did not perform in the mosaic tabernacle That's right. That's right. at no time That's right. That's right. show you the humility of Yahweh when they stand out there on the day of, of the atonement Yahshua stand out there with them That's right. right yes sir right. he standing right there with them right. I'm talking about the boss himself standing there with them all right and being this is quiet all right how come you quiet I'm the one that asked you to be still. All right. I asked you to be still, not to be still. All right. Well, <laughs> so, now they had to be still for several reasons. One, they could not see over. You see, they could not be gathering around there. They could not see over the um, court roundabout um, structure. Right. So. So in order to hear this high priest, then as he was walking, tingling, tingling, you see, mm -hmm. bell the pomegranate on his garment. You, you have to come up after class and look at it. Yeah. See? But there's a bell the pomegranate. So when he moves, tingling, tingling. Wow. those are little bells. You have to be quiet to him. Yeah. Yeah. Now we even said this. Somebody said, I don't believe no high priest. I had no bells on his garment. You ever heard bells ringing in your ears? Yes, sir. Or did that. <laughs> And you don't know when they start. You don't know when they stop. What's going on? High priest in there fishing. Yes, he is. Yes, I told you you were a tabernacle. I told you it was the temple of Yahweh. You know that? It's all right with me. It's something else. Yes, the founder used to tell us there was no way, or Yahweh didn't, every, everything about him, he found a way to do demonstrate what he really was. Yes. You know? Marvelous. You know what? You know what laughter is or joy is? Yes, sir. Right? Yes. You know what sorrow is? Yes, sir. So you're acquainted with uh, spirit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Now you can't laugh too long. Because mm -hmm. that hurts. That's right. Yeah, no, 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 that, that turned into pain. Yeah. What is it? See, the limitations in this physical body. Well, right. yes, so what we want to get out of is experience and a moral body that doesn't have to go through. That's right. You see? Mm -hmm. You yes. understand where I'm coming from now? Yes. So now, why? So he did not officiate Yahshua. And then when I say Yahshua, yeah. everybody understand. When I say Yahshua, I'm talking about Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahshua. That's what I'm talking about. Right. I'm not talking about Yahshua without Yahweh Ellen. I'm not talking about. That's 
Right. And when I say Yahweh, Elohim, Yahweh, I'm not talking about this. That's right. right. At no time. Right. We were in California. Because I know they were dead. We were in California sitting in Dr. Carl F. Gross and Lena's house <coughs> on 26th Street. And the family was sitting there in a chair. We were all gathered around him. Listening to him uh, expound. He said, now all these years I taught you, the flesh is out. Haven't I? We all said yes. Lo, these men, I, he said, you want me to put the stretches on that? You want me to come up a little bit in that? We all said yes. Yeah. He said, the flesh ain't never been in the be out. Mm. Yes, sir. And all of a sudden said, that makes sense. And then one said, you can't say that. What's this? And he docked with us and some more you don't understand. Yes, Dad. Mm -hmm. Some more you don't understand. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. That's cool. See, they're not going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. But I tried to tell you everything the man said. Yes. Whatever it, it was read last night, whatever the son sees the father does, that's what he did. Right. I seen the father explain, and the son explained to you what the father That's said. That's right. 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 Mm -hmm. see? And get it straight. There are no devils in this age. That's right. right. Heard that. You weren't born with one. Right. You're in the present kingdom age. Right. Yes. Move on. Yes. All you need is your eyes open. You understand? That's right. That's right. You haven't seen a devil. You don't know what the hell one looks like. And I've been damned if you've seen Elohim yet. Because if you've seen him, you wouldn't be talking about somebody had a devil in him. That's right. You would be able to discern what that is in a verse person that's not of Satan, but of Yahweh. Teach that. Come? Why are you telling these folks they were got a devil in them in the first place? What kind of God? Blessed power. <clears throat> I was going to say, damn it, didn't you? <laughs> what kind of power you have to cast it out of? Right. Why would you walk up to somebody and say, Nathan, are you hungry? And they say, yeah. Tough. <laughs> Why would you ask him, is he hungry? You mean you ain't going to feed him after you find out he's hungry? Yeah. You're going to say he got a devil in him? Ain't going to do nothing to cast it out? Jeez. Come on with you. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Worst in Christian. Get off of it. Yes, sir. I only ask him because I'm concerned about his well being. You hungry? You understand? Yeah. yeah. You gay? Yeah, okay. You? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a lot of times when y'all hit my house, the first thing I ask him. Are gay? That's right. Say right. yeah. what? <laughs> Lou? <laughs> Get the hammer. Mom's always got a Come. Because I want to feed you spiritually first. And if I have to feed you physically to give you some energy to sit and listen to me speak to you spiritually, I'll do it. Yes, sir. I'm, 
I'm talking about the kind of person that headed up this school. Dr. Carl F. Gross gave up a fortune. That's right. To promote everything Doc Kelly asked him to do. In fact, he done so much, Doc had to stop. Go ahead, Dave. Something else. That's right. Dr. Carl F. Gross was my father, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, let's move on. <coughs> Did you bring the books? Yes, sir. <coughs> so now, what? We're going to deal with this man. And in the construction of this chart, and somebody made the statement. Uh, see this chart here? Yes, sir. See this chart here? Yes, sir. I love it. I designed it. Yes, sir. I copied it from other charts. This is the elementary chart. Yes, sir. Is it? Yes, sir. This is off the 40 page chart. The elementary chart has a strip has a strip on it. Mm -hmm. Sam. Uh, Mel can't they freeze it, say yeah. yes, yeah. right. Doc said, don't do that no more. Put, put the picture in there that was on the 40 page job. All right. So I put it on. All right. Yes, so then in order to get Moses and uh, Abraham see down in Egypt, there had to be a family. Mm -hmm. Right. That he might be going down in Egypt. And I put that on. Mm -hmm. sure so then we put the, them going back, you see, mm -hmm. by the pattern of the tavern. Yeah. So I put the pattern of the tavern right here. In other words, this is the pattern of the tabernacle. This is it opened up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now what I did is I took this and put to the having the man there and made an image of like as y'all. I condensed it and set this right next to it. Excellent. Yeah. So you can compare. Yeah. All right. All right. And that's what we're gonna do. Now when he's ahead of all powers and principalities. Right. Yes, he begins in the cloud. Yes, yeah. sir. So in order for Israel to come up out of the cloud, I'm not out of Egypt. What happened first? The cloud appeared. That's right. All right. And a phenomenal cloud, which tells you that it was not an atmospherical cloud. Yes. Right. Right. In other words, it wasn't made up of elements. Yes. It was a phenomenal cloud. And I think it was mentioned today that it was a cloud, phenomenal cloud, only in the eyes of children of Israel. Right. right. And that shouldn't be hard for you to understand. You're looking within the cloud, and only you can see it. And you're saying, can't you see it? Can't you see it? Right. right. Oh, we don't see it. Yes, sir. Because you ain't looking in the cloud. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So now, just as Yahweh came in by and gave them a pattern of the tabernacle, is the same way he came in and fulfilling and instituting that which had already taken place in the realm of eternity. Right. You understand me? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Now we're going to come in. We're going to find out whether, who you are. All right. You come in the same way. So the first vessel in this, you see, that Moses was told to build was the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. When you're born, the head is formed first. Yes. Right? Right. right. Read, Dr. Ward, you got it? Yes, sir. And I want you to, I want you to listen. And this book was in the Founders Library. Not this book, but the, uh, the same book. In other words, I mean, a book like this, this is not the same book. Yes, but there was a book just like it. Right. Read. I'll be reading from the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. Read. Under Ark. Uh huh. The Ark of the Covenant, Sacred Ark, or Ark of the Testimony, represents the original spark of divinity in man's being. See that? Mm. Here. You listening? Yeah. And I don't need this book to prove what I'm talking about. I'm trying to tell you what Yahweh showed me this evidence around here somewhere for you to look it up. I don't need this book to prove what I'm talking about. Read. Um, it is a covenant or agreement of the Father with the Son that he shall inherit all that the Father has. All right. Read on. All things whatsoever the Father hath are mine. John 16, 15. Right. Read on. This original spiritual spark is a very sacred, holy thing because upon its development depends man's immortality. See that? All right. Read that again. This original spiritual spark is a very... What's the spark? The Shekinah. 
This original Shekinah or spark is what? Is a very sacred, holy thing. Wow. Read. Because upon its development. Because upon its development. Depends man's immortality. Right, depends right. man's immortality. Read. Right. It is represented as occupying the most holy place in the temple. Read. Read. And as being protected and cared for with great devotion. Tell me how we love you. That's right. He gave us love. That's yeah. right. But most of all, yeah. he gave you eternal life. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. But you're going to have to go the way he came. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. All right. You understand? Solomon said, there is a way to seem it right. Mm -hmm. But the end thereof is destruction. Yeah. It just seemed like, well, Jesus was baptized. Let me go be baptized. Yeah. Jesus ain't passed over to me. You know, that's mockery. Yes. When you and I did it, we didn't know it. You know what I'm So there was something to come within us that would forgive us knowing we didn't know. But see, even that works to the good. You know, when you find out you and ain't Lord suffering, <laughs> great practice and great news, and ain't found out nothing. Right. You know what that makes you? An authority. Right. 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 There ain't nothing to it. Right. You know what they said? Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. But we tried it. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't we care? Yeah. Didn't get nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And that little wafer they gave it in the Roman County, it stuck to your room. Not yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. It's supposed to be an unholy thing to reach the bear. And the cracker will be the cracker to give you the Protestant church. You know what I'm saying? If you had a cabin, you missed it. That's right. <laughs> and as I said, I'm going to say it once more for the sake of those that's with us. You know, they give you a little cracker. And this is his body. Go take it this time. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> and this is the great news, don't they? Yeah. And then got nervous and said, drinking all of it. <laughs> you see? And you went to McDonald's or K KFC, you know what I'm saying? And they give you a hamburger like that, and a soda like that, and then like that, and then you eat great, you get out of the car and slap somebody through the window. <laughs> <laughs> see, stop letting the devil make a monkey out of you. He doesn't have to exist. You must put him to death. Yes. And it's that spirit in you that put him to death. Yes. You follow? Yes, sir. Quit promoting the devil. Quit telling people they got the devil from Preach righteousness. Yes. Yes. Stop this thing about people born DOA. You know what I'm saying? If Yahweh is in that body, it ain't DOA. All right. Stop that. If you say, we didn't know, we didn't know when we were born, true. It don't make you a devil, that don't make you DOA. Right. You're in an innocent state. You see? A childhood state where you can come under the thought. So, and you, as you come to it, you don't want to corrupt nothing that he is. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when, at the time that you didn't know, Yahweh winked at it. So, did you did you get baptized and, and you hear a voice saying, You fool, what you getting that damn money for? <laughs> you ever hear a voice like that? No. See, so you ain't got no Well, you nothing but a devil for getting baptized. But you know I fulfilled that. No. See, you ain't got no book for them kind of things. No. You ain't got no way to prove them. Right. You see, we want, as Paul said, prove all things. Yeah. Which are except you know what you found out? I'll tell you the that's the text secret you found out by getting water baptized. Though you may not recognize it, you found out there was no power in it. Right. right. All right. It didn't do a thing for you. That's right. Because when he was baptized and raised from dead, he took the power out of all. All right. And said, Behold, all power is given back in the mind. Yes. He that believes on me as the scriptures have said. You know what I'm saying? Out of his belly shall flow rivers. Isn't that right? That's book, right. folks. Yes, yes. And they tell me that when I talk about being Yahweh and 
And in heaven they said, we were told to stand in the holy place. The Hebrews were told that. I was told that. You understand? The Hebrews were stand, told to stand in, in the holy place. You follow me? But you, by the peace, preaching of Peter down at Cornelius house, you began in the spirit. All right. All right. That's book. Right. All right. See, and even then, you have no boast. Paul saying, have it begun in the spirit. Are you made perfect now by the foolishness? You understand? All right. Only this will I learn of you. Understand? Were you made perfect by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? You understand? The law was be given so they would break it. To make them look to y'all. It wasn't given to them to keep. You follow? Now you can keep them. Yes. By him that kept them in the first place. Right. But you ain't going to keep them. That's right. I mean, this stuff ain't going to keep them. You see? And, and listen, you need some help to keep it because the always say after those days, he write his laws in your heart and your mind. You see? And just do what? Cause you. Can't help it. That's right. Just cause you. You, know, you might. And told, no. It's even the thoughts gone to want to smite. All right. Uh, see? Just cause you to walk in. You know what I'm saying? Ready to love, but you know, still be ready up against the mark. It's better to go on and die. You see? Jeez. That I harm him not. Yeah. Jeez. That's right. some love for one another. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You follow me? That's who I don't approach nobody in any old kind of way. Right. You may come to me with something that's just downright stupid. You see? But you don't know it's stupid. So I'm telling you, you stupid. I do one now, but I was you the way I was good, so and so. That's right. That's how you are. Huh? That's right. That's the way you did it. The founding said, if I were you, that meant do it that way. That's right. That's what it meant to me. That's right. That's exactly right. I am you. I'm going to do it the way you said. But he said, nah, hey, boy, do it like this. Oh, snap. Yeah, he didn't do that. Hey, just look out why I'm in this body. Like Read on, Barry. All that. Look, don't forget now, we're reading about this Ark of the Covenant. Yes, sir. Right? Read. All that man is has been brought forth from this central spark. All that man is. Did we tell you everybody in the brain of the pituitary gland? Yes. And the spirit, that's, that's the seven hormones on one and three on the other. Yes, sir. That's that all of the government, all of Israel. Right. Yes. You saw me? And govern this whole body. Oh, yes. You follow me? Let's get real. <laughs> Let's quit playing class. Let's quit playing kingdom. You follow me? If when you look back, you follow me? At the beginning, when Lucifer and his host was brought to the, or the angelic host was brought forth, mm -hmm. none of them were devils. <laughs> they were subject to, you understand? The whole, they fell. Right. Yahweh cleaned it up. Right. Cast them out. Yes, right. You know why? Because even now, he's not inviting you into a kingdom where devils are. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All right. So stop it. Yeah. He's not inviting, I'm repeating, he's not inviting you into a kingdom where devils are. Right. Let me show you the long and the short of it. When John the Baptist you see, I'm getting back. Don't take your finger off. When John the Baptist was to come on the scene to bury Adam. Mm -hmm. oh, see, you can't get the man born of the flesh and bury this man that's born of the spirit. Got to be born identically the same way. Yeah. And they too must form this same ark of the covenant that I'm talking about. Right. Give me two women up here. Go ahead. Right. See, <laughs> which one's which? She's a lizard. She's already six months pregnant yes. with John the Baptist yes. and Zachariah, his father, and had a thing to do with that child. Oh, Not the first thing. And because he didn't believe it, Yahweh struck him dumb. Sure did. Then he didn't by what? By the, he didn't believe that his wife was going to have a baby. 
You follow me? He didn't know he ain't had nothing to do with it. You follow me? She's six months pregnant. Now don't you forget, six months all the time, brother, six days in the grave. You follow me? Six days, six months, six years, you know what I mean? Or entertainment. So she's six months. Then went up in Lisbon, this one. Yeah. You see? And this one had just uh, been overshadowed. And that divine yeah. source and substance of secretion had been laid down in her room, and Joseph hadn't touched her either. Come on, so Zach Wright touched this one. Both of them are coming in by a man who can say, Go on, brother, fire of Yahweh himself, but produce a body and get around and walk in it. Yes, yeah. sir. So then you read, then went up and listen. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Read. <laughs> they went up over. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. That's right. That's right. Now why did they meet? Remember, you keep it in mind. You keep that Ark of the Covenant in your mind. Yeah. yeah. Remember the second eye that's flashing between the wings. You keep that in mind as we go through this. Read. I mean, go ahead and do it. So we went up and did it and they breathe. Watch. That's right. From, they formed the wings. Right. From, and this child, there was a bear witness to this child. Right. Link. Yes. Right. They bore witness of one another. They're forming the Ark of the Covenant. Go ahead. And say, yeah. And he's about to descend. Oh. Come, come down out of here. Come. Come. Yeah. Both of them on the end. Like birth, mother, through my father, and my mother, earth, through me. Yeah. Come. Both giving birth to birth, birth of sons. You understand? Yeah. One's got to bear witness of it. Why can't you look up here and see that this one is bearing witness to that one? And that one's bearing witness to you know what I'm saying? That one's bearing witness to Elohim. Elohim is bearing, you know what I'm saying? And this is older. You know what I'm saying? And then you read that the older shall serve the younger. You know what I'm saying? This one's come from the rim of the tank. This comes forth on the sixth day. You know what I'm saying? So that makes him the older. He's serving the younger. As it is written. Tongue so I'm counted in heaven. Before it made manifest on the uh, okay. Tell me, I don't know what I'm talking about. You probably don't know why I want to listen. Yes, sir. You see? Yes, sir. It means that I'm not going to go on a cave. No. But listen, I'm not for going nowhere fussing with nobody about nothing. Right. Without arguing, without the contrary. Great is what I just said. Right. <laughs> and you know you ain't been in all the school, been able to expound it like that. No. It's been taught. Around in school, that John the Baptist lost the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's a lie. Never lost the Holy Spirit. Who do you, who, give me some names that somebody lost the Holy Spirit. Who do do it now? You might have got lost, but the Holy Spirit ain't never been lost. <laughs> You know, when you go somewhere and go the wrong direction, look at what Myers Market, Myers Market stays right there, and you don't know where it's at. <laughs> and you gotta turn around and go back to where it was at. <laughs> you ain't gonna produce a Myers Market somewhere else. <laughs> For your convenience. It's <laughs> working. Thank you. You understand? Do you follow them? Yeah. So what I'm doing is proving this. Right. I'm showing you how events are taking place by that object of the original spark. Mm. That spark. Man, Elizabeth to have child. Mm. So All right. that spark Mary. Oh, you understand? Mary. Yeah. Adam, you understand? Yeah. And both of them said, see that they knew not a man. Right. See, why don't you take it apart? They knew their husbands. What do you mean, knew not a man? What are you talking about? You mean you don't know this man? You, uh, you, know that? you don't know that crap? Right. That ain't what she's talking about. You mean, you know, well, what? Here's Adam and uh, Eve in the garden. Right? right? Fall forth from him. Right. See, if I said this to he will her in existence, he'd fall out on it. Right. You just willed her into being, yeah. you have a fit. Yeah. So I'll use it the way where you, you know, don't get choked on it. Yeah. Deep 
sleep fell out, took a rib to the lung. And how'd she get the heart and the lungs and you know that? Right. Teeth and everything else, you know? If that's all it took, a rib and a wound, you know? Some whole lot left out. <laughs> but she just will be in by the fact that she's complete the vein Teach. Say he named her Eve. Yes, yes. Because from that womb was she taken. Yeah, right. 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 She called it to be called woman. Yes, sir. Name her Eve. Why? Because the evening and the morning mm. were the first day. The evening and the morning was the second day. Yes. And right on down. Right. Through, you see? Then he looked at it and called her the mother. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. The mother of all of it. Yes. yes. If you're alive, she's your mama. Yes. That's right. You understand? That's right. She's the mother of the human family. Adam is the father of the human family. That's the source for you. You understand? Yes. So when you stand out here and talk about your mother, no being no good, and your daddy just from the dust earth, you know what you are. Yeah. You're exactly what the source is. <laughs> So get away from it. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. You got it? Now watch. So he named her, Adam named her in the garden. All right, man. I said Adam named her. He knew her. You see? But they didn't propagate. Right. Or have any sexual relationship in the garden. And Doc used to teach this before he left and went to California, right? His friend what is the third chapter uh, or fourth chapter of Genesis? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That That's right. First chapter, first verse. 4 1. 4 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. See that? Who is this he doing in the garden? Right. You follow? Yes, sir. In case you lost the continuity of thought. I'm talking about men right. and lizards not knowing the man. Right. But it wasn't that they didn't know each other, right. but they didn't, Adam and Eve did not know them sexually. So, right. Oh, right. That's right. so Adam knew his wife, said, you using vulgarity. Right. They had a relationship to bring them forth offspring. That's what he's talking about. Adam knew her. Yeah. Right. That way, in the garden, he did. Yeah. Right. right. They had to come on out of the garden. Yes, sir. For them to get acquainted that way. Yes, sir. You follow? Yes, sir. You got enough? So I tried to show you them coming in, one bearing witness to the other. Yes. Then we come up and say, John the Baptist lost the Holy Spirit. And then we'll play it out for you. Um, the disciples were walking past, and just like this was a prison here. Yes, sir. And this was. I, I, in other words, it's in a dungeon like yeah. this, is a, this is a window outside. Yeah. Where they can see out on the street. Yeah. I, mean, I never heard that. No, because you ain't going to walk through where I walk. Woo! Go ahead. And John is saying, as disciples stand back, what were they asking? Is he the one, or shall I seek for another? They went over and asked him. Mm. And John over there in prison. Ask us to come and ask you. Are you the one, Shelly? He's seeking that. Why didn't Joshua run over there? <laughs> Why didn't he? See, he gave him the answer. He gave the answer, the mystery, to the disciples that went back to and they didn't understand it. But John did. All right. So they went back to him and said, He said, Tell you that the dead are being risen, yeah. the widows are receiving their help. And he knew that only Yahweh yeah. that was manifest among them is the only one that could do that. Right. 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 And went on to his death. And his cutting off of the head signified the cutting off of the prophecy. Right. Mm. You understand? Right. Or he'd been, as Tom used to say, and Dr. Co-Founder, he'd been here to yet fulfill if John was yet talking. So it signified with the mouth, you understand, confess his name, with the mouth, uh, utterance of prophecy is made. So John's head coming off signifies the cutting off of the prophet. You understand? Now if he lost the Holy Spirit, damn it, you get up and explain to me how he's in the mountain of transit and how he's at the mountain of the city if he lost anything. All right. All right. You get up and explain that to me now. Oh, yeah, right there, so they cut your head off. 
that body that you saw, but not that body that was met there. You understand? Know Get this thing straight. And don't tell me or don't be act like you think I don't know what my father taught. Don't be walking up in my face or Dr. Kennedy says as though I don't know it. And you tell me all I think he said, and I know whether he said it or not. Some of them use well, did you know the founder? They no, I didn't. Well, let me tell you. You see, they think they got advantage of you. That's not true. You have the same spirit in you that was in the founder or anybody else. That's right. And that spirit in you can discern whether he ever said that or not. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If they can't prove it to you, to your satisfaction, evidently he didn't say it or they misunderstood it. That's right. You got it now? Let's go on with this argument. How you coming in by the same path. You follow? You understand? Miniature construction of the tab, universal tabernacle made bark. And Paul said, what? No, you not that your body is a temple. You understand? And there was another fellow, Hebrew fellow out there in California. You understand? Kept going up to Doc's house and said, Doc, don't I have a physical body? He said, no, you don't have one. Sure. The body you wear is not yours. The next night, said, Doc, don't I have a physical body? Mary Brain said, no, I don't read it. And the doctor was there and said, look, there's nothing else to do with you. You got a physical body, okay? <laughs> now do what you want with it. I ain't told you the truth. Right. That body went and ain't yours. And he went down to class and sat on the floor. Dr. Kennedy told him he had a physical body. And he did. Right. But he didn't tell him. The doctor said, if you don't have it no other way, you do have a body. Oh. Now since you, that's your body, you lay claim to anything go wrong with you, take care of it. Well, that's your way. Oh. Like he said, physician, be yourself. Yeah. When your time of death comes, this body has. Since it's your body. Mm. You mm. But that was it. And if you walk back down the ten board, back to the back room where I sat all the time, and say, didn't he say that? I would say, yes. Tell him the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, he did say, if nothing else will do you, you won't believe it like I showed you, then you do have a physical body. And that's how a lot of them have done. They've quoted parts of what Dr. Kennedy said, and not the whole thing. That's right. And think I don't know. You follow me? They went out and said, Dr. Kennedy said not to preach. And he said he did. That's right. Now who's lying? All right, right. And the result is, is all the confusion is going on in the school. Right. Whether he said them or not. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't growing. You know what I'm They're not growing in knowledge. And becoming one with and through the preaching of God, becoming one with Yahweh, they come find they got devils all along. They've been lost. They got to confess that they're devils. You understand? Right. It's far removed here from what we were taught. That's right. I'm telling you enough. That's Yah. That's way. That's right. Yahweh. You understand? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, and I come right back to that's Yahweh by itself. And that's Yahweh too. Right? Yeah. Why? Because you're both anthropomorphic in that state. That's, right. see, that's what's called you to like this woman. Because you got some feminine hormones in you. That's what's called you to like him. Because you got some male hormones. And so that makes you anthropomorphic. Male and female in one embodiment. That's right. It ain't changed yet. That's right. That's right. And when you go out here men with other men, you know that you have need to be changed. <laughs> we kept them out. Gay rights, you know what I mean? You ain't got no right to be gay. <laughs> Not the gay you talking about. <laughs> you talking about being gay and happy in Yahweh, you got a right to that. But to be <laughs> you nobody got no right to that. Male and female created he them. And I'm not against them. I'm saying even though you're just like anybody else with a not understand, they need help too. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Right. You see, they're looking for happiness in that like they're looking for happiness in what you're looking for. That's right. And so we all need help. And that's what we should be. We should be the sons of the children of Yahweh. You know, going to help the rest of the world to come under what we're talking about. Not go out there and crucify and tell them what they don't have. And, sit up, and those that will come and tell them they're full of devils. Yes, I know Dr. Kennedy talking about the devil manifesting and ain't enough physical bodies on earth. You understand? Know he has to get up in legion. Murder is the devil all by itself. 
A liar is a devil all by itself. You see, an evil worker. So you may be a murderer, a liar, a devil. You know, I mean, a whole lot of things that make up uh, legions. I know all that. But listen, that's like that and it ain't going to get no better. That's not the sons that we're talking about. That's not the daughters that we're talking about. That man with that stuff in him was lost from the get-go. He's reserved for the lake. You understand? The preaching of the gospel is good news. You follow me? Not no bad news. The good news is you've been saved. Yes. You've been made one with Yahweh. Yes. And that he's not beyond your reach. You can know him as he actually is. In, and that he's in you and you in him. That's good news. Yes. So I mean to find out how his purpose works from cosmology and eschatology without missing a beat. Nobody along the line. That's some good news. Yes. So I'm glad tidings. Yes. So I'm read. All that man is has been brought forth from this central spark. See that? Yes, sir. All that man is has been brought forth from that central spark. Mm -hmm. Read. Yes, Yet the sense conscious man often neglects it. See, and, he often neglects it. And ignores its very existence. See that? Yes, sir. And ignores its very existence. Now, because he ignores it and its very existence does not mean it's not there. Right. It just simply means he ignores it. He said, well, I don't think I have it. And he leaves. You understand? Know it stays, though he ignores it. Right. He don't say, well, since you won't acknowledge me, I'm leaving. <laughs> it stays. Mm -hmm. If it didn't, you'd have fall dead. <laughs> yeah. Read. The attention is taken up with the things of sense to the exclusion of spirit. You listening? All right. All right. See? That's the problem. These natural senses take over. I can't be happy till I get me a wife. I can't be happy till I get me a husband. And you get one and you say, I can't be happy till I get rid of her. <laughs> Until I get rid of him. You know what I mean? It ain't long you try, well, maybe I'll try another. You know what I mean? Just like we do for presents. The hell with Clint! Hey, Clint now and then. Four years ago, Clint and Clint the Yeah, white water, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're looking around for dull pineapple going. <laughs> you know what the problem is? I'm not making fun of you. You know what the problem is? You keep putting your faith in a man. Right, right, right. Instead of him in you. You keep putting your faith in a man. And you look for a man to bring about peace on earth. Right. Not gonna happen. And many times that you've had presidents black them four years, you understand? And another four years, you know, and some of them uh, would like Roosevelt, they put him in there for twelve years. He died while they know. Because then we get to look at his and so said now, a god. All right. Come up with WPA, PWA, what? Three C camp. Oh, he was wonderful. Mean? <laughs> PWA, Poor Workers Association. Oh, he was one. He gave us a job. You know what I mean? ditches. You know what I mean? You could have dug a ditch all by yourself. Individual consciousness, when the Ark of the Covenant is removed from the heart center or city of Jerusalem, uh -oh. the spiritual forces are scattered. See that? See that? That's what happened in the school. Spiritual forces by which we were gathered together, the native idea mom, now being scattered. So you go here, you hear one thing, you go there, you hear something else, you go there, you hear something else, you know? It's ridiculous. You know? And it's not the doctor no. that the founders of this school set up. No. Right. Mm -hmm. no. I'm, <coughs> I'm saying the key lies in the 26 years that they both taught. Yeah. 
for the everyone to California. That's right. That's right. Huh? Because when he went to California, he went there with the intention of writing a book. That's right. And he told me, he said, Glenn, when I finished the book, laid the pen down, I was sorry. Mm -hmm. They got where they didn't want to hear him no more, so he asked him not to call one no more. Mm -hmm. And then she requested the poem. That's mm -hmm. right. We went to the 75 convention. He came back from 75 convention. Mm -hmm. Tears was coming down his blue face. Mm -hmm. Say, Glenn, they crucified me again. That's right. They crucified me again. That's right. Every dumb thing they done in that convention was not what I asked them to do. That's right. They didn't do nothing that I asked them to do. But he gave it up. Mm. 76, he went on up. That's right. And let me tell you something in my experience with that. I'm saying I'm looking at him just like I'm looking at you tomorrow, and tears coming down his face. You know? And I knew, as Peter had asked, when will I know that I, when I pass from death unto life, mm -hmm. when you love the brother? Though he said that, I didn't hear the one of them. Right. I did not hear the one of them. Yes. So, I didn't want to go nowhere and get nobody told. Yes, sir. I'm not doing what he asked me to do. Yes, sir. Why did you do that to my father? Yes, sir. I didn't do a thing about it. Mm. I continue to love him and I have loved him to this day. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is it didn't you write Robert Harris a letter? Yeah. Trying to warn him. Right. 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 We don't think a thing. I'm going to repeat. We don't think a thing about. You know, Cain, Cain was the devil. That's the evil We don't think a thing about calling him a devil. Yeah. But let me, let me tell you about Lamar and Rose. Oh. You know that. Wait a minute now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We call him my name. Yeah. But we call everybody, every other mother's child by their name. That's all right. You know? But we call me by my name. Right. Right. But you go in the wagon gum too. Oh. Whoever you are. And Doc Killen, you say, you throw a net out there on the water, pull up a bunch of fish, poke a room, throw it back. Jeez, damn. Red Mike, throw it back. Mm. Billy Grant, throw it back. They ain't fit to eat. Jeez, damn. You want the good stuff. <laughs> right. It's hard with that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So you take the good, genuine sound rock, right. and it's written. That the time would come when they would not endure sound doctrine. That's right. And pal, we're in it. Right. Let me say this to you. When Dr. Kennedy left here in 58, before he left, he told me, he told Cliff, my oldest brother was living, and Richard Cox, that long, not long after he left, there would be a psychological shake, psychological shakeup in this school. That's right. Did it happen, Rachel? She said yes. And it hit. And nobody recognized it but me and our people. Mm. And that child, my sister, was tore up. That's right. Go ahead, Dad. You follow? Go ahead, She didn't understand. And listen, I didn't understand it either. I just didn't understand it. I didn't get it either. Yes, but I, the only thing I knew was hold fast what he said. That ain't what he said. And a whole lot of them on this doctrine came out of that. Yes, so much so, I sold $1,800 worth of drums for $75. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cases and all. Just to get the hell out of Springfield and get out to California. Mm -hmm. And get up underneath the fountain and stay there. Right. <laughs> See? And just like you come, hi, Jen. Hi, Erie. Hi, Celeste. Hi, John. And my turn. I'm in the lineup. He gets to me and he looks at me and says, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> My father and this one's father sent me back. And I came back. And through my obedience to those two, yes. I received. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So I found out through that obedience was better. I just want to say something in support of what you were okay. talking about. Before, a long I had 
problems because I kept hearing rumors here in Springfield. And I was disturbed and I cried and carried on until finally my husband sent for my father. And he and I stood in front of my house on Center Street. You all don't know where that is, but he does. And I said to him, if it's like what I'm hearing, I don't want no parts of it. That's right. And he said, Rachel, it's not like that. He said, you never heard me teach anything like that. I'm not going to go into details about what I heard circling around me. That's right. But I felt within myself, and I knew that something was going to happen. Right. And when, this was before we even went to California. That's right. And when it materialized, then I knew why I felt that I did in the manner they did. And that's why I said to him what I said. And he told me, it's not like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. In 76, it occurred again. That's right. When he took off the flag. That's right. Broke loose. That's right. And it's still on the ramp. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. But I'm saying, as she just said, the old man said, not like that. Not like what they're saying now. That's, That's right. right. It's just a repeat of the self same mess. That's right. Go ahead, Go ahead. So now, let's finish this up because it's about time to go. In, the, in individual consciousness. Oh, let me say, that's been why my sister woke up when I'm around. Yes. We sit and talk. Yes. She doesn't forget. She doesn't deny what our father taught her. No. She doesn't deny that. She just don't want me to associate with them folks that's high minded and evil. Amen. And nobody has to be subject to that. Amen. All right. Help babysit, whatever you can do. That's better than being sitting up there. Right. Yes, sir. Going through all that. I don't blame. Right. All right. I don't blame. Right. And no, she don't believe in church. That's right. I'm saying it for her. She don't believe in no. And they lied on her. Said she they been said that she would rather our oldest brother die than he live to make my father out alive. She didn't say it, did you? That lie has been floating around by a lot of right. That's part of the restoration. Yes, sir. Right. See the book. She didn't say it. All right. She deserves it. And I was in the hospital when she came in. All right. In, at Springfield Hospital, and I worked in it. The high, same hospital my brother was in, burn up. I worked in it. Yes, sir. I worked on the fourth floor under a supervisor named Rachel Bob. Go ahead. Read. In individual consciousness, when the Ark of the Covenant is removed from the heart center, or city of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. the spiritual forces are scattered. Uh -huh. Because of lack of, the, of a substantial basis from which to operate, no definite spiritual unfoldment can take place. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. Read. It was therefore necessary to establish this holy meeting place as David, love, well knew. Uh, 2 Samuel 6 and 1 through 19. Mm -hmm. After David had fully learned that working with divine law always brings good mm -hmm. and that disobedience is the cause of destruction, See that? he brought the Ark of the Covenant back to its proper place in Jerusalem. All right. Its presence there ensured to the Israelites a peace and a harmony and a spiritual progress that they had not had that they had not known during the absence of the ark. That's right. Because right. right. let right. you put the ark back. That's right. right. We come conscious of the ark being there. Right. Because the absence of it, the scattering of it, the forces are scattered. That's right. You see? And if the forces are scattered, you have no power of the resurrection going on in That's right. You see? Now, I'm trying to make it clean. Now we 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 we're gonna continue. We'll keep coming right on down with that path. So you come to an absolute assurance that you're Yahweh, you're all in all, through all, and that's all. Because that's all it is. Got it now? Yes. May Yahweh continue to be very good.
enjoyed today's lecture, and I'd like to thank the body of Yahweh and Dr. Kinley for today's lecture as well. And um, I'd like you to please stand for the benediction. And is there anything that I would forget? Mention? Uh, uh, what about the, uh, uh, yes, what time are we going to um, get together for the... Five? Sure. Five o'clock parking lot. Five o'clock parking lot. Five o'clock in the parking lot, we'll be meeting for the tour. The, for that, who, yes, for those who do would like to go around on the tour. Tour. Now, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belongs glory and majesty, dominion and power before all times, now and forever, let us all say. Hallelujah. Stop it.